So I've finally been able to get hold of a USB keyboard and um, I've swapped out the uh, image for a uh, Debian squeeze and let's boot this looks this looks a lot more like it what I was hoping to get uh, and uh, we're just going to give it a minute to boot and um, so when it boots for the first time you know give it a little bit of slack um, it takes a few times for some of the modules to come up and everything uh, let it run, don't reboot it, you know, it does take a little bit of time. Um, but again, we have our um, Debian block. Okay, so we have our login prompt. The way that we can um, do this is we log in with the username of Pi and the password of Raspberry. We then are uh, presented with our login prompt. If we type start x and hit enter, it will then start our full on desktop interface. So here's the system running, as I would have uh, hoped, a bit more of a desktop environment. Um, file managers down here, we have a web browser, and a few other bits and bobs, it's all still fairly new to me. Um, so now it, this has pretty much become a, you know, a full-on computer, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, this has been demonstrated by many people, so there are probably lots of better videos out there on the internet. Um, my videos are only really intended to get you started obviously if you wanted to just browse the web you could uh, load up the, your, your browser um, and then from here you could go to uh, a number of anything you really want so obviously we try and go to, to Engadget and that now loads and from there we can go through our site there's normal, it's all pretty good.